It was a long time ago, our forefathers told us. In a village called Chunglimti, our tribe was born from six stones. They call the place Long Rock. Three men and three women. They married each other and gave birth to three clans of the Ao Nagas. They settled in Chunglimti for many generations. And soon they began to disperse to seek out new fertile lands and establish new villages. I saw a bed outside my office window one day. It was beautiful, sleek, ergonomically designed, perfect for modern day office use. The space nap, it promised peace and quiet. No! Come with me, I know. Come, come, come with me. Come with me, I know. I'll break the storm with you.
It's her shawl. Bye, miss. Enjoy your stay in Nagaland. Good morning. Imnala. She looks just like Imnala. Imnala? It's that woman who claims to be my mother.
was asked to give it to you. How did you get this stone? I don't know. I don't even know how I got here. Maybe you can tell me. This is Imnala stone. Who's Imnala? Imnala was my childhood friend and your mother. You look just like your mother. That eagle carries your mother's spirit and it is her spirit that has brought you to Nagaland. What? I am Imtila, your mother's childhood friend. And these are the Naga hills where she was born. Imnala was born in a small village in Mokokchung. Her life in the village was very simple and she had to work very hard in the paddy fields. She would think of the times when we would go to the Assam market to sell Tamil leaves. She would love walking around in those busy, noisy streets. She had even made friends with someone over there. He was a bead seller. He would tell her many exciting stories about all the lands he would go selling the beautiful carnelian beads. Finally, she decided to run away from the village and join him in his trade. It was Mwatsa, the spring festival. The day's festivities had begun. First, the sacred log drum was beaten. Then, at night, when the men sat around the fire, telling stories and singing songs of brave warriors and heroes of the past, our own little Imnala, she was walking out of the village. We had both decided to meet in the forest. I had brought a parting gift for her. I had carved the hornbill as a symbol of good luck and fortune. Her ornaments, she asked me to keep them for her. I will come back for them one day, Mtila. She said. She travelled for many years after that with the bead seller. And then one year, after travelling to many, many different lands, she arrived in Bombay.
By this time, she and the bead seller had already parted. She had opened up a small restaurant over there. She wrote me a letter, giving me the happy news about your birth, and she also said that very soon she would bring you and come to Nagaland to visit. But she never came. That was the last letter I received from her. Our Aav Naga tribe believes that when a person dies, their soul enters the body of an eagle. I know she is dead now, for today I have seen an eagle and a girl wearing Imnala's shawl who looks just like Imnala. I will go make some tea now. <gasps> I never met my mother. I was raised in an orphanage. Sister Margaret was mother to me. After I moved out, I started seeing this vision of a woman in a red shawl. I could never understand what she wanted with me. Your mother wanted to give you something. This. Himnala stone. Here it was all along.
Oh god. ठीक है चलो चलो आगे बढ़ो 